Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Carmageddon. Kind of like that. So I've already scouted out my path, and I'm going to bring in my standard war team of Nick Fury, Warlock, and Omega Red. I take path two on the left side here. So this first fight is against Captain Marvel, the movie version. And when I saw her, I was like, okay, well, I shouldn't have too much of a problem with her, but she's caught me a few times when she's overly aggressive and she doesn't throw her special, and I don't know how to evade her special too. And if you try and miss, you get stunned and then wrecked. All right, so... Uh, there's no reason anymore for me not to boost up because we get so many boosts from the new uh, objectives. So nowadays, I just go ahead and boost even if it's a 10%, 15%. I've got plenty of them in my overflow. Uh, love the upgrade to the objectives, the solo objectives. All right, so we're going in and of course they chose Stubborn as if there were any other defense tactic to choose. I have not fought anyone recently in war that chose anything other than Stubborn. Um, it is what it is. Uh, perhaps Kabam will look at that and maybe adjust it a little bit further. But for right now, my Nick Fury, he is great for Stubborn. Uh, and if you're not familiar, if you are a defensive champion and you're the attacker, every time you parry, you're gonna get these uh, destructible charges placed on the defender. And those charges prevent them from going indestructible if they are a defensive champion as well. And Nick Fury is a defensive champion, so he is great, love it. Uh, when I'm not going up against someone that I have to worry about that with, I may still bring him in, but for the most part, uh, I'll go in with uh, Omega Red or Warlock, depending on who I'm fighting. All right, so now this is Blade. That regen is annoying somewhat, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, so we locked in those uh, spores, and he goes down, just like that. Lovely. I remember when Blade used to wreck me. Um, he was very annoying, uh, but never too difficult but he would catch me sometimes with that special too. And then it was lights out. All right, so down he goes and Cull here, the mini boss, was not clear when I got to him. And when I came back, boom, like magic, he was cleared. And we were on to section two and I take path two as well uh, in section two. And you can see they've already cleared everything here so I can go straight on up. Uh, if they needed me, if I had a champion that uh, was the best option for the defenders there, uh, they would just uh, tag me and say, hey, we need you to, you know, fight this guy. And so I would. Now, funny thing. When I looked here, I looked very quickly and I thought that this was a Nova, not Aegon. I actually thought it was Nova. Uh, I wasn't really looking carefully enough, apparently. And so when I got here, I'm like, oh, wait, this is Aegon. Aegon's not difficult to fight. Uh, Nova can be annoying. He can be very annoying defensively. And if they have his uh, SIG maxed out. So I was actually, when I did my scouting, I was concerned about this fight because I thought it was a ranked up, you know, SIGed out Nova. But turns out it wasn't. Um but I didn't know that until the fight started. All this time, I'm not paying attention to who that is, okay? I didn't find out, I didn't realize it until now. I was like, wait a minute, that's not Nova. That just goes to show you, not really paying attention, um, should not do fights when I'm uh, distracted or anything like that, but fortunately, he's not that difficult. I thought it was going to be Nova who was going to be far more difficult uh, to fight than Aegon. 
Aegon wasn't a problem for me whatsoever. Omega Red took him down. Lickety split. So down goes Aegon. Next up, we've got Gladiator Hulk. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, uh, Ghost Dog. But now this guy here, very easy to fight, but he can catch you with that special one, especially. Um, yeah, so many specials. Special one, especially. Uh, if you watch some of my older war videos, there was a time where he caught me. It was right after uh, he fired off a special or I fired off a special. And as soon as the special animation was over, I dashed back and he instantly fired that special one. Stunned me, wrecked me, the fight was over. Uh, so he's easy, but you got to be careful for those little shenanigans. But Nick Fury took him down without any difficulty whatsoever. Uh, I like going into wars with Nick Fury because you have that buffer uh, of his uh, life. And it's not like he's horrible. The life model decoy is horrible. It's just that the real Nick Fury just does a whole lot more damage, stun immune, all that good stuff. All right, so I'm looking over it just to kind of, you know, remind myself because I've already done this many times, so I know the nodes. Um, but... I want to show you guys the nodes and I want to get them in my mind. So now we're going to fight Hyperion. Now Hyperion, depending on the AI you get. Now right there, that let me know that we should have an easy time because he fired his special one off pretty quickly. We've got that uh, internal wound or deep wound or whatever on him. I pushed him to a special three simply because I have the buffer, okay? And I knew he was not going to uh, bring out the real Nick Fury just yet. All right, so, you know, we got that out of him, and we're already half, uh, you know, done with this fight. Okay, and then here we go. Uh, I probably shouldn't have fired the special one off, but we baited out. He got, you know, we got him to fire the special two off, so at this point, we're good. Okay, down goes Hyperion. Usually, if you're doing it properly and there's no crazy nodes or power gain or anything like that, you'll only have one. But look at this. Do you guys see that uh, syndicate, uh, the, the uh, symbol? I was sweating here. I'm sitting there going, no, no, do not do this. I won the fight. Don't rob me. I am sitting here sacrificing all kinds of things, promising all kind of things and finally it clicked in and i was like whoo because i was threatening i was like man i got you on on film i got you on camera i have a record of it you know but we did it we got him down all right so that actually ends my participation in this particular war by the time they got everything cleared off and and ready I was already uh, busy streaming, uh, but they got him down and it looks like we're in good shape. So let us find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. We are on a nice winning streak. The first three wars of the season and we have won. Let's see if we can continue this streak. Uh, it'll be phenomenal if we could uh, get Platinum 3. I think that's what a lot of people are um, hoping for this season. We've had a few people turn over. We got an old guy back that used to be in there. Work in progress. Welcome back. Welcome home. Uh, he was in the Alliance. He left for a while. Now he's back in the Alliance. And uh, we are happy to have him. All right. So that is going to do it uh, for this video, guys. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this war. You know, if you have any questions on different things uh, like uh, fights, maybe the style, if you have some suggestions. Uh, one of the things that I like about these videos is that uh, I have the opportunity to put myself out there and have people critique and give suggestions. 
Now, not all the suggestions I'm going to take, but I welcome them. You know, there may be a reason that I don't do a particular thing. Like I got a suggestion, uh, a comment that said that Omega Red was probably better for a particular fight against Thing. And it was on that node with stunning reflection. Well, I agree, probably was a better uh, option. However, my own skill level, it wasn't the best option for me because that particular node wrecks me because I cannot fight my muscle memory very well. Other people have an easier time. I do not. Uh, if I do it and then I get frustrated because I'll, I'll dash back, not even intending to parry, and it'll read it as a parry. And then the fight is over. And so I really hate that uh, particular node. Um, but I welcome all comments and all, um, as long as they're constructive and respectful, uh, but I welcome them all because there's always a chance that your suggestion is something that I, I might need to work on, you know? Uh, so uh, feel free to comment and let me know if you, you know, have a strategy uh, that you think uh, will work for me if you see me struggling uh, against some particular fight. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, click like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, as I said, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you thought of the video and any suggestions that you had. And you all have a blessed day.